Hey, it's Mike with Trader's Edge. In this video, Preston's gonna walk you through a powerful component of our money press trading strategy, how we become option sellers and we can stack the odds in our favor by becoming a time merchant, as we like to call it, and we have time decay working in our favor. He also walks through how this math becomes really fun and exciting, so enjoy this one. <laughs> So I'll demonstrate the math of selling time or options using the most universally loved and adored thing. That is, in, unless you're lactose uh, intolerant, but that would be ice cream. And you've probably seen this um, example like from the Money Press Method uh, book, but here's a picture of a five gallon drum of Baskin Robbins ice cream and it contains approximately 130 single scoops. Now that's, that's the aggregate that I could find Googling this. So a five gallon drum, and that's what you see when you walk into the store. Well, you see, I guess 31 of them, right? Um, but five gallons, they have contain approximately 130 scoops. So the cost of one five gallon tub of Baskin Robbins ice cream is between forty and fifty dollars. Okay, to, so that's that's the bulk. Now, a single scoop of ice cream retails for approximately three dollars and fifty cents. So I'm throwing a lot of numbers out there, but here's the math. So 130 single uh, cones or scoops at three fifty per. Now, if you live in freaking Salcedo. In San Francisco, you're probably dropping six dollars for who knows what that is, or New York City, um, but just an average around um, three dollars and fifty cents. So, so look at that, 130 single cones at retail at 350 is 455 dollars. So, so we'll take 45 dollars in between 40 and 50 for the bulk cost of that ice cream or that something that's that commodity. You, they it's forty five dollar cost and they can get four hundred and fifty five dollars out of it by selling the ice cream scoop by scoop. And uh, if you've been on here for long enough, every once in a while I bring up uh, this little mini shopping center over over yonder, and it's gone through like three fitness places, uh, a couple of Mexican places on the corner. Um, uh, d some different nail salons and what you know, just the typical thing. But the tenant that has stayed there and been true, and we'll just say like over the past 20 years, has been the Baskin Robbins ice cream shop. So teenage employees will come and go. Um, but the real reason behind, and different flavors will change in and out. But the basic math behind it is because they're selling something that costs 45 and they're dealing it out there for 455. So that's called profit margin. It's probably the thing that Warren Buffett goes for most in his investment thesis is what and he would say the the net free cash flow, you know, after costs and the EBITDA and all that. What does a business produce? What does it cost them to bring something to market? What can they deal it and sell it for? And um, that would be profit margin or net cash flow. And it's what keeps a business in business. So guess what? The money press has a very similar profit mar margin to Baskin Robbins. And also, coincidentally, this is X linebacker brain that came up with this. Both ice cream and options meld away. But that's another story. They just have that in common. So instead of chasing after money, in this little graphic here, we've, oh, the stock's the next Apple. Oh, let's day trade or swing trade. And oh, the, the real answer's in penny stocks. And oh, if I sit in my pajamas all day long, just glued to people making predictions, um, boy, that's, that's the ticket right there. No. Instead, a strategy like the money press gets the money chasing you. So 
Welcome to your new side hustle, being a time merchant. That's what you could consider your, your uh, hustle. And I'll just end with this, that it's uncanny how many people I've met that say if they could just make an extra three to $5,000 per month, um, they could consider retiring. And that's on top of, of course, you know, a pension or two here, what Social Security comes in and brings, what and maybe annuity out of the mix, you know, and then they, or they can sell a business. But this it's so it's not three to five that they they live on totally, but if they could make three to five just for some extra cushion, that they they could really make some drastic life decisions and just you know uh, sell the roofing business or or whatever. And if this is you, the money press is tailor made for that situation and you don't have to have a pile of money to accomplish it either. Okay, we don't need to have the millions saved. It's nice if we did what the CFPs, you know, the financial planner racket tells you to have, but you don't need near that kind of capital to um, do the money press. And we're, and we're talking about doing the money press on the bluest of the blue chip um, stocks of the world. Thank you.